Can you comment error sharing your broadcast on Twitter? Uh oh. Problem. Hey, Drum Brano. Yeah, I mean, a problem with Twitter, but that's okay, Michelle. Hey, guys. Here again, 215. Thanks for rejoining me. Hey. Hello, hello. Unstoppable Nail. Here again. Thank you, thank you. Ariel Fox. Thanks for joining, guys. Crack that egg there. A column that means just put a picture in that box. Hey, what's up? Taps are free. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, Kathy. How's it going? I told you you'll work it out. Just give it a couple weeks. Let the information soak in. Don't be in a rush. You know, some of us took us years to get in the shape we're in. Thank you for inviting your followers. Hi, guys. I'm Dr. George Cosmides. I'm a simple uh, chiropractor here down the beach, but I've been doing fun functional medicine since 1995. I, I've written four books. My latest one is Life Without Diabetes. Do I even have a copy anywhere? It's on the table back there. Here, let me... I get asked this all the time, so I might as well get it now. I've written this book. You might want to take some screenshots. It's easy to read for mom and dad. I wish I had this book and my father might still be alive. Uh, I lost my father to alcohol at 55, 56, and 31. And I got into this work because of their deaths at a very young age. Hey, thanks for mentioning me, Kathy B. on Twitter. Thank you so much. Nice fireplace. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that in the, in the center of the shot. I'll move out, out of the way. Um, the reason for my scope tonight is, you know, I have a Lean Body Academy and I'm getting ready to make another audio and a screen flow of emotional eating and weight gain. Emotions play a, a big, big part. If you guys have any chronic health conditions, uh, fibromyalgia, Crohn's, anything that's come on later in your life, uh, thank you. Great. There's, there's an emotional component to it. You have empty Stella syndrome that causes my weight. Well, I, there's contributing factors, but let me, let me, uh, they'll said take me about 10 minutes to go through this and I'll answer any questions. Yeah, hormones, emotions, it's important. Research is, is, see, you have to understand 10, 15 years ago, they didn't have a lot of this emotional research. They didn't really do a lot about, a, about the, uh, involvement of body fat and emotions. Thank you. But now we've got it. You know, Dr. Atkins and, and back in the day, they didn't have this type of research. So now we have it. Okay. So emotional eating and weight gain. Um, I like to kind of lay it all out there. I was sexually molested at eight years old by a housekeeper. It's no big deal, long time ago. But uh, those events that happened to us back in the day can still affect us as adults, and there's several reasons for that. And I have some an audio in the, in the program now that uh, will help to clean that up, and I'm going to make another one that's going to help because a lot of people really struggle. And what happens is when we get stresses in our lives, we fall back into these old uh, stale habits and we need to check them. So it's not that you're weak or you're, you're, you, you know, your willpower. Those are just kind of like catch all terms. What's happening is, yeah, you're, um, you're going back into old, old pathways in the brain. And I could get some real technical terms and there's a psychologist or, or psychiatrist on here. They could probably get really deep, but let's just keep it real simple. I like to keep my, my Lean Body Academy information simple, and so you guys will act on it. Thank you for the hearts. That's why I'm here. Thank you for the shares. You can slide up and slide across. I'm Jillian. I know that what you mean, and my dad was emotionally abusive. And Yeah, okay, no, no question. And, and I'm going to try to explain it here in the scope, and then uh, in the Academy, you can join for seven days free, and there's some material in the bonus area. If it's not there, I'll put, I'll put an audio in there to get a, a grasp of this. So it's important. You personally, no, I don't. So, um, what was I going to say? Uh, so, if you've got these issues, you could be dragging them into your adulthood. So, here's how we can recognize it for emotional eaters. I gleaned some research. Again, I'm putting together my audio, so I kind of, uh, yeah, I, I, I recognize you, Delaney. Lean Body Academy, thank you so much. So, emotional eating and weight gain. Here's the three key things to know, and I'll have this, sh I'll have this PDF in the uh, in the bonus material area, you can get it for free. You'll be able to download it. Uh, the audio will be the audio coaching will be in the actual uh, program. Okay, three keys. <clears throat> we eat when we're emotionally driven. Research says we're not physically we're not physically hungry. And here's how you can tell if you've had a protein based meal within the last couple three hours, and you're going for food. That could be a sign of that you're emotionally being triggered to emotionally eat. 
That's pretty, that's pretty specific. So protein-based meal. No, no question. I'll, no question. And I'll, I'll kind of cover um, how to deal with that. Uh, second thing is um, satiation is not there. In other words, once you get emotionally motivated to eat, you can eat, 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 and, and nothing satisfies you. It's like you can eat everything in the fridge and nothing satisfies you. Well, that's why I'm doing this scope tonight. That's why I, I'm on here tonight. So, um, number three, cravings uh, are, are triggered by an emotion such as anger, anxiety, or boredom. Anger is probably a big one. Yeah, give me about 10 minutes and I'll answer questions. So, you know, I still, when I studied uh, acupuncture and herbal medicine in China, I'm not an herbalist and I don't practice acupuncture anymore, um, but the principles make sense. And the Chinese have a, have a, you know, diagnostic where they're saying that anger affects the liver, sorrow affects the heart. Um, interesting concepts. So I'm not saying it applies to everyone, but uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so cravings are triggered by an emotional such. And this craving could go back to a childhood, you know, abuse situation. So again, it's not about... Oh, thank you for inviting your followers, guys. If you could do that, that would be great. Thank you for the hearts as well. Um, they can be triggered by anything. And then what happens is uh, we get into some other dynamics. So I'm going to go to the fourth one. I know I think I said three, but I'm going to add this last one because this last one is really key. Uh, comfort eating has a mindless, imaginary image. So we just eat for comfort. Thank you, all, all you guys, for inviting your followers. Um, so you sit mindlessly in front of the TV and eat, and you're usually your mind is turning on a on just an event that either happened recently or it was triggered. Now those are the four. This PDF will be in the Lean Body Academy. Oh, thank you so much, guys, for 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 inviting your followers. I, I just want to help some people on this scope, and you know it really bothers me that that people think that they're lazy and then they get more uh, self-loathing. There's no reason for that. So those are the four things. Now. Here's some things that can come up. How many people, and just put, uh, I'm not getting into your personal life here, but how many of us felt that we were either emotionally, sexually, or physic physically, physically abused somewhere in our lives? Yeah. And just put a one up. That would keep it simple for you guys. I know you have to type, and it's kind of weak. Yeah. And the research says, and, and they say this number is conservative, that it was it's seven out of ten people that have been sexually, physically, or mentally abused. That's seven out of 10, and they said that's a conservative number. I find that quite fascinating. So for those of you just joining, you know, I was sexually abused at eight years old by a housekeeper. Uh, but here's what you have to keep in mind. This is important to get. It was an eight-year-old boy, not the 52-year-old man that's sitting in front of you today. Do you understand the difference? And here's why that's significant. We drag what happened like a piece of luggage into our later lives. And that affects, not only affects our health, but it's unfortunate that the, the people around us get affected. So I could, for a long time, um, I had a very distrust and dislike of women. No question. The only woman I trusted was my, my mother. And I'm, I'm keying it to that event. Now, I took some training about 15 years ago that helped me recognize this and it was a it was an eye-opening experience it was an exercise i'm going to have that exercise in my academy it's going to be a verbal uh exercise that you'll do it's going to be totally private you'll do this exercise and it'll really help to get this mess out of you and then on the coaching calls we can we can talk about it or we cannot so it, it's just something that if seven out of ten of us have it and research is saying that's a conservative number Let's say, thank you, uh, Pico Vega, for, for mentioning on Twitter. Um, let's just say it's an accurate number. That's a lot of people. If it's a, if it's a hundred thousand, you're telling me, you know, seventy. I mean, that's a lot of people. So again, these things are real. They have real roots in psychology, and uh, you know, if if you don't know why you do certain things, or when you get in a relationship, you you bomb it, or you treat the person badly. A lot of those things could be self-loathing. You could hate yourself because you think you deserve that. All these things. So what I'll do is I re I'll review my notes of, of my training and I'll do an audio of how to take this little exercise that I took. And it really helps. Again, I'm not trying to be your psychiatrist or your psychologist. If you're seeing one, don't stop. If you're on meds for it, um, 
runaway bride here. There you go. Um, but we just need to kind of get into ourselves uh, in kind of like a retrospective way and say, okay, well, you know, what, what's causing this, this behavior? Yes, yeah, everyone on here has, has had some issue, physical abuse, mental abuse, and, and it, it affects us later in our adult lives. So now, hope that was helpful. Again, this, uh, let me, I'll finish the PDF. It'll be, it'll be in there uh, sometime tomorrow. I usually get them in before my scope, but I, I was in the office today. I didn't get a chance to do it. And then the, the audio will be in there by midweek. I'm, gonna, I'm adding audios all the time to the, to the Lean Body Academy. It'll be in there midweek. Love how careful, gentle, and hum- Oh, thank you so much. Website address, it's leanbodyacademy.com. You guys can join for seven days for free. Yes, you have to put your credit card in. If you stay longer than seven days, you'll be charged $37. But you get me every week on a live coaching call. You've got tons of material. There's uh, people, new people, Kathy's in the, in the academy. So again, it's, it's not just uh, when you want to get healthy and get lean, it's not just about calories in and calories out and going to the gym. That's old and stale thinking. That doesn't work. You have to look at, you know, what's happening emotionally, what's happening to the neural dynamics of your life. Oh, that's it. it. It's a it's a membership. So you we have a private fa- Facebook group. You have a 12 week lean body program with videos. I, it's pretty it's pretty cool stuff. And I did it the seven days just to check it out. It's unlike anything that's out there because I get into I don't even get into exercise until about the fifth week, fourth or fifth week. So it's all about getting into you and why either you don't have the body you like or you, you self-loathe or, you know, I've had, um, I'll give you a quick example. You guys want to hear the example of the, of the training that I had? You'll get the, you'll get the actual uh, audio in the program. But if, give, give a one and I, put up a one and, I, and I'll give you the example and you, it'll be, it's pretty cool. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. So. In this class I took, it was about 200 people. I, I love seminars. I've been to hundreds, about 150 in my life. And I also teach diabetes education to doctors here in the state of California. So I, I love to teach and I love to learn. A 12. So in, in this particular class, it was 200 people. And the way this class worked was you broke up in groups of 10. Now here's the, the key. I was bragging to you about my therapist. Today. Thank you. We, we had to get in groups of 10, but guess what? We couldn't know anyone in the group. We couldn't have said hi to them. We couldn't have made on ca- eye contact to them. Pretty interesting, right? Thank you guys for tweeting and, and sharing. I'm getting all these little. So you get in the group and we had to do an exercise before. And the exercise was, thank you, to write down your most painful experience. Yes. In great detail. Yeah, I know for some of you, you're already cringing. I totally get it. <clears throat> so I went home and wrote down mine. I'm actually giving you the, the, the actual homework. So if you get in the program, you're going to do this. Now, I know, uh, uh, bear with me. And I'm going to get, um, I'm not going to get, I'm going to, it's going to be PG, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give it up right now if you guys want me to. It, it, it's for a lot of you that have weight issues, um, Calorie deprivation is, is going to make you heavier. The science is proving that, but you're not getting the results. How many of you have tried in your minds everything and not got any results with, with your body? Put up a one. Of course, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tried everything. You're lazy. You're not doing it right, and you get frustrated, and and, and you get worse. And I totally get it. I was. I was the kid at the pool with the t-shirt on at 15 and the chubby kid with, you know, I totally get it. Okay. So we're in the groups of 10. Now I was first. Don't ask me why I was picked for, picked first to read my story. So I read my, my story about my sexual abuse as I was eight years old. And, uh, you know, it was about three pages. I was eight. So I didn't really go in that much detail. That's correct. Yeah. So I read my story and, you know, did I tear up at all? I, you know, I don't think I teared up because I, 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 I know it bothered me. It made me kind of a- angry because I felt so vulnerable. We've all felt that, right? You guys, when you get in a situation like that, you feel like, like you're vulnerable. So put a one up if you guys felt vulnerable when you were either physically, emotionally, or unfortunately sexually violated. Yeah, you feel, yeah, there's no question. Right. Okay. So I read my story and I, 
I got, I got anger, I think. Anger came out of me a little bit. I was, you know, I'm, back then this was, you know, I'm going to work out. No one's ever going to, no one's ever going to physically dominate me. That was my, um, you know, rather than being self-loathing, I was the opposite way. I trained where I hurt my back and hurt my joints and that type of thing. Hold on. So the next person read, read their letter. So nine other people read their letters. And I got to tell you, after, you know, people read their letters, my story was minuscule. This girl next to me, never forget her. She was in a sweater, a dress, leggings. She was sexually uh, raped by her two brothers from like 16 to like 18 to like two or three years. The other guy was sexually molested by his stepfather. I mean, it just got worse and worse and worse. And then at the end, I felt so embarrassed about my story because how trivial it was compared to these people. Yeah, now this is important. When this girl read her letter, the whole, I mean, the whole uh, circle was, was like sobbing. So just imagine you're in a big ballroom and there's, there's 20 groups of 10 people and everyone, you hear everyone kind of crying and, you know, just sobbing. Understandable, right? You guys get that. So we all read the letter, uh, all read each of our letters and, um, Jane Levasic, the teacher, who knows, she might even be on the scope. This was like 10, 12 years ago. I never forget her name. She was a, a brilliant attorney, but she taught this work. She wasn't a psychiatrist. She was just an attorney, but she knew this work. Excuse me. And then she said, okay, read them again. And then everyone read that letter again. This is the kind of stuff that's in the Lean Body Academy, guys. Not just calories. and It's, it's so yesterday. Then we read them again, and guess what? The second time, not too much crying. Then we read them a third time, a little less crying, maybe even a little bit of a snicker. By the fourth time, the whole uh, room uh, uh, was just laughter. People were laughing. Amazing, right? Hello. You guys get, get the bigness of that, right? So what happened was, and it took me, you know, when you do when you do work that's new, when you do the Lean Body Academy or you do other work that's new, sometimes it takes a while for it to, uh, to, to settle in in your brain. And what happened was the girl that was sexually raped by her two brothers for a couple of years, she realized, I think, I don't remember her age exactly, she was probably mid-30s, no relationship, single. She was letting that event trail her in her adult life and it, it was ruining her, her her life she was a beautiful girl all dressed you know all covered up and this was on a, we did this on a friday the, the course was friday saturday and sunday by sunday she was in a mini skirt she had a blouse on she looked hot totally transformed her thinking and everyone else had some sort of a a big break that's right checking the brain and becoming uh, mindful about what you're doing. Like, what are you doing? Uh, that, that happened back then. And you had no, uh, you had no say. That's why I, I'm going to work out and be strong and no one's going to, you know, that was my defense. Her defense was covering up and not being socially available. Some of you, it's food. Some of you, you're recluse. Some of you have an event happen, someone doesn't say hi to you or at work, someone in your mind shuns you, so now you build up an attitude with that person and every day that it's not resolved, it grows and grows and grows and before long, six months later, oh, that person hates me. Yeah, most people are for, you know, we all have our mechanisms. Mine was just be really strong. Yeah, because that's your association. So the first thing is, is to become mindful and recognize that that happens. So mindfulness, it sounds pretty, you know, Deepak Chopra got in, uh, it sounds really cool, but you have to become mindful first and then you can take, then you're open to taking steps, whatever they are. If you're, you know, if you want to see a psychiatrist or psychologist or do some work on your own, uh, that's what needs to happen. But you have to be mindful about this event. And if you cry, well, then you cry. If it bothers you, then it bothers you. But realize that's, that's not who you are today. That was who you were back then. That was a, another person. To me, um, yeah, to me, it was an eight-year-old little boy, right? It wasn't the 52-year-old man I am today. 
And it's not fair that my wife and my daughter have to deal with what happened to me at eight years old, is it? It's not, it's not fair that, that I let that mentally um, d distorted housekeeper affect my wife and my daughter and my friends. Do you see the thinking? You have to get outside of yourself and realize that that type of emotion isn't helping you and isn't helping the people around you. Of course, it's going to be difficult. But once you're past it, ho, it's a big, it's like a weight's been lifted off your back. Yeah, because when we have that happen, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I've got a five-year-old daughter. And, I, you know, that's my biggest fear. <clears throat> and for those of you guys, how many new Periscopers do we have on? Yoga and meditation, no question. Everyone finds their niche, no question. How many, how many are new on Periscope with, with me or just new the first couple of times and you see people come on and say appropriate thing, inappropriate things? You can follow me by pushing, I think, this button here or sliding up the screen and you can follow me. And what following me does uh, with anyone is when they come on and they scope, you'll get a notification if you're on Periscope that so-and-so so is live or, you know, George, Dr. George is live or, or whatever. Um, when they leave an appropriate comments, please don't take it personal. This is, that's actually training. Yeah, you just block them and you move on. And sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll make some sidebar jokes about it and make you guys laugh because it, they can be pretty crude. Uh, but never let people like that influence you. That's, uh, that's the same as letting someone affect you back in the day. It, this is, just consider it training. Get past, get out of your own head that, that they're being against you or don't make things up. Don't make things bigger than they are. They don't have to be. Was that woman was, what, what was it? Okay, now, what was that question? Was that woman that she was a housekeeper? Mine, I remember eight years old I was, and we had like three or four of them. And I think she was the first one. My third scope with you. Oh, thank you for coming back again. I don't have all the answers, but we have to, you know, if you don't address these things, and, and I try to in the Lean Body Academy, you'll never get anywhere. I'm in the midst of making everyone run in the other direction. Okay, first thing is realizing that. And then the second thing, good for you. And then the second thing, um, what are you going to do about it? No, I know I never blamed my dad. or My, my mom and dad were separated back then. I had, I had a very interesting childhood. It's... Uh, it's, 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 I think it's hibiscus. I thought emotional eating was BS, but I think it's happened to me. Yeah, it, it's not BS. It's just the hibiscus tea. I was five years old. I was sexually uh, molested by my housekeeper. I don't know for how long. I remember just vague instances of it. And I know it affected me in my life. It made me damage myself working out. Like I, I overdid it where I would just damage myself. Yeah. So, you know, you want to find the midline. And I think, you know, the, the, uh, out of that class, which I took yeah, 10, 12, 15 years ago, the girl, I don't remember her name, but she had the biggest impact on me because of the way that she transformed herself. She, something clicked in her and she realized that she, that's not the girl anymore that was, you know, 15 years ago, however long ago it was. She had a similar situation. Hey, se seven out of 10 of us have been sexually abused, according to, to peer-reviewed research. In some way, sexual, physical, or emotional. So, you know, we're in a big group of people. And, you know, enough with the pity party. We have to get on with our lives. Oh, you're so welcome. You, know, you have to do things that, that have an impact. And you can't let people that are negative continually impacting you. Because then you impact everyone that you deal with. And that's not fair to, to other people. That's, I mean, that's the way it makes sense to me. My wife and daughter don't deserve any type of negative, impatient abuse from what happened to me. Or what I'm going through. It's just not fair to them. And that keeps me kind of, oh, I better, you know, I better stay straight. It kind of keeps me honest. Okay, now, any questions? Me too and I had for you. My... Yeah, just move on. It, you know, just look at it like this. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that person was a deranged individual. That's all. You bet you, well, that, that's a question that's that you have to ask her. Are you open with your wife and daughter about your past? Sure. And my daughter, she's only five years old. I don't think I want her to know that stuff yet. But I tell her, you know, the only person that 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 washes your, you know, sees your body naked is your mom and dad. Stuff like that. Well, what's your choice? You can wallow in self pity and anger, or you can get past it. It's just about choice. 
Well, you know, you don't really have a choice of whether it's a good mindset or a bad one. I see what you're saying, and, and thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. But what, what else are you going to do? Serotonin levels, melatonin appears to help. I would take three milligrams a night. That appears to help. Hey, there's Amy. That's one of my star pupils. Can you talk about not drinking fruit juice by any fruit? <laughs> yeah, because, for example, if you have an eight-ounce glass of apple juice, that's probably the juice of maybe six apples. You're not going to eat six apples, but you can drink the juice. So you're getting all those calories and no uh, no fiber. But good for, see, I just transitioned into that. Hey, Amy. Thanks for inviting your followers. My, follow My Hot Sacks, he, she's going through a life transformation. 355 pounds down to, I think she's probably 260 now on the Lean Body Academy. She's uh, one of my stars. I didn't get that. Don't you know how much? And I didn't get that. Hey, thanks for tweeting me out, Amy. So what what do you do with cravings? Ah, well, protein is really a good modulator of cravings. So you should have protein with every meal. Is metformin okay for type 2? You know, I don't get into drugs. Uh, just look at the research on metformin. That's all I recommend you and have a conversation with your primary. Doesn't use contain, and not really. Most of it's just sugar and water. Once it's pasteurized, it's sugar and water. So when you open up the top and it goes... It's pretty much just sugar and water. Yeah, that's why I don't eat. I don't consume any non-fermented dairy. In fact, yeah, all I have in my refrigerator is Parmesan cheese, which is a hard, hard cheese. Soylent, I don't. Can you eat too much protein? Just eat enough for your lean body mass. It's real difficult. I'm drinking a whey protein shake now, and I'll probably have another one to meet my my lean body mass protein needs. Because for those of you who don't know, I'm the director of the Lean Body Academy, and my Goal as the director is to get my body fat at 9%. My ice cream cravings are gone after two weeks. There you go. So see, there's no no's in my program. You're not right. You're not wrong. There's no no's. Follow the simple steps and these things will begin to just fall off and fade away. We had one lady, I think that's Kathy there. She said first time in 30 years she was able to see her ankles and she's only been on the program two weeks. Type 2 diabetes. I'm hesitant to go to the doctor about it. It seems to crash around 3 p.m. Okay. I wrote the book, Amazon, ten bucks, nine eighty nine. It's about what I, it, but it's about what they charge me to, uh, to print it, order it right there. All I ask you to do, is leave me a review. So far, I have five star reviews. This book will help you. It's not designed to treat diabetes. Make no mistake, but it will help you deal with the problem. Type two is an acquired condition. You brought it on through your lifestyle choices. Genetic type one is about 05 percent of the population. Now that's even mean question. I only had ice cream cravings when I was pregnant. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me at all. Do you think the buffet at Whole Foods is okay to eat? Yeah, it's okay. My son has a better biology value. That's right. See, my students are so smart. So 16 years ago, you were abused. Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep up. Sometimes I, I fall behind, though. And if you, if I don't answer your question, I'm not ignoring you. They just come all at once. Oh, you're pregnant. Oh, you have a 16 year old. Oh, I heard they're interesting because I only have that. Don't want to waste it. Thanks. I was adopted at birth. You know, I've got a couple of friends that were adopted and they're great people. Do you agree that ketosis is a good way to go through? No, not, not, not Atkins way. I don't agree. In the Lean Body Academy, if you follow the protocol, you're getting into ketosis about two, two hours a night. Oh, she's 15. Okay. What are you talking about? Well, I was talking about emotional eating, and now I'm answering questions. And if you guys watch are watching the replay, please continue to give me hearts. Please share me out. Uh, that's what keeps me coming back. High fats. Well, it depends. Are the fats high medium chain triglyceride fats? Or, uh, you know, it just depends. We have all these qualifications. And uh, if you see Amy, uh, she, she's been in the program one of the longest the lady is sharp. She could be, uh, you know, a counselor you know, for the Lean Body Academy because she knows because she's been there. Uh, she drinks what? Well, that's not kind. And I have young kids on my scope, so. <clears throat> that's exactly right. Use up what you have. No, just your words are ugly. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. And, you know, I, I, I'm not pushing the fruit. It, it depends on timing. It depends on the timing with fruit. Try to do a raw vegan reverse disease, but it's so hard. That's right. 
So that's why the my Lean Body Academy, by your third or fourth week, you're making choices that you never would have made the first week because you have some knowledge. You have to ease people into things and ease them out of, out of their old habits. Remember, we go back to the emotions. We're talking about retraining mental emotions, not just to physically eat this, don't eat that. That's just, that, that's just old and stale and it's not, uh, it's not accurate. I, that's great. That's great. But remember, in the academy, I focus on fat loss, not weight loss, fat. Weight and fat are two different things. Do I talk uh, personal classes? I do some, some individual consulting. Yeah, I do. Weight watchers, w what's your goal? Depends on what you're juicing. Fruit juice or high in sugar? Oh, just order my book. Oh, thank you so much. Please leave me, you know, you know, read it. Please leave me an honest review. I really would appreciate it. Thank you for inviting your followers. Jelly. I don't have any emotional. Excellent. That's one barrier that's that's gone. Now you get to have to get some knowledge so you know a low glycemic food, high glycemic, when to eat your proteins, simple stuff. What advice do you have on people that have hit a plateau? Get in the Lean Body Academy. You have to know what your lean body mass is. That's part of the problem. Thank you. I'm 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 buying your book. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Sprouted great ingredients, Garden of Life. Yeah, Sprouted is the, one of the better ways to eat, eat wheat products. No question. I eat for stress now. I have heart disease. Okay, so you have a weak heart. Why don't we do some things to support it? Because remember, your heart's a muscle. And my whole goal in my program is support your lean muscle mass. Heart is muscle. Arteries have muscles. Smooth muscle is muscle in your digestive tract. So when you support your lean muscle mass, you support your whole system. So emotional eating can be curbed by eating more protein. Well, if it's caused by a sugar issue, but emotional eating is just that. There's something that emotionally is 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 invoking this response and it's a non-satiated eating in other words you're just mindlessly eating and i gave those tips i don't have that pdf in the uh in the lean body academy's bonus materials i'll have it in there tomorrow yes i do fortunately for my my wife <clears throat> good questions <laughs> see you don't ever let anyone, don't let anyone, especially that doesn't know you, have an effect on your life. What are some good foods for motivation and to get energy when you wake up? Protein and, and a vegetable, or if you're like me and really busy, I just have a whey shake. I'll throw some berries in there, maybe banana, and isolated whey. <laughs> you're welcome. They're, they're just bored out of their mind. Thank you. Is plant based? It's it, plant based protein is great, but just remember, it has a lower biological value. It doesn't get into the cell as efficiently as, as isolated whey. And I don't make the rules. You can go online and look up biological value, and there's all kind of charts on it. Is it normal that sometimes I hate to eat or feel hungry? It is. You could have a negative emotion toward food, and you'll see that in bulimia. You'll see that in people that are hyper fat based on their weight. They may weigh 110 pounds, but their body fat's 50%. Fish oil, flax seeds. Well, it just depends. Uh, the best fish oil now is coming out of no Norway, according to the, the – they're saying it's because of the purity, and they get it from krill. It's this whole special process. I ate a lot of McDonald's. That's unfortunate. It doesn't read that, – that the research isn't favorable on fast food. Watch the movie Super Size Me, and I think by the 25th day, his liver was going to explode. His doctors couldn't believe it. Does it fit my macros? See – Paleo and all this business, you have to look at basic science. And they, what they do is they put tags on them so they can sell you guys products. I know they don't like when I say that, but that's the truth. I eat Quaker Oats oatmeal every morning with a bit of cinnamon for breakfast. Yeah, if you want to step it up a notch, move over to Spelt, S-P-E-L-T. Oh, thank you. You know, I'm really not that intelligent. I'm just really inquisitive. I ask a lot of questions, and I, and I go to really... Um, the best source is PubMed, The Lancet. Flexible dieting is good. I have no idea what that is. Any meal plan is good if it meets certain physiological requirements. Period. Doc, tell them just stop that. That's right. And Amy, she's been in my program longest. She used to get a little bit upset with me on our coaching calls and things like that. But now she knows it was for her own good. You cannot patronize... Uh, behavior that supports you know, self-loathing 
oh, I really feel bad, then you go with another friend, oh, it's okay, and then you associate feeling bad with getting comfort. Not a good thing to do. Yeah, it's pretty close, but from a nutritional value, it's off the charts. Look it up. See, when you say things like that, you just get blocked. So you're gonna have no <laughs> you're gonna have no one on your following you on your scope. I've shown going to the gym can cause heart problems. Um, well, that needs to be qualified. I wouldn't agree with that entirely. You have to understand this. And let me hold your questions. Please give me hearts while I give this because this is, this is going to take some mental thinking. When we don't support our lean body mass, we get in something called catabolism, which means our muscle tissue is breaking down. Now, if your muscle tissue is already breaking down because you're not supporting your lean body mass, what do you think is going to happen when you go exercise? You're going to break down even more muscle tissue. You see? So that's why, and answer me with a one if, if you've been there. You go exercise for a month or two, you get on the scale, maybe you dropped a pound or two, but your clothes, you even look sloppier, you even look fatter. Put a one up if, I, if I'm accurate, and I'll tell you exactly why that's happening. I figured it all out. It's all in the academy. I figured it out. Amy knows. Sure, I, I try to follow everyone that follows me and I have software now that I can tell who interacts with me and the top three people who interact will get a personal uh, email from me. Shares and hearts and all that sort of thing. It tells me all the data. It's about, mo well, it's about moderation, but you want to be specific with what you're doing. Been lifting heavy weights, eating appropriate drops, inches instantly, but belly fat is, that's right, because you may not be supporting your lean body mass. So we, sh we should go easy at the gym. Well, you want to you want to do fundamental things first. That's why, hey, my tweet, thanks for running your followers. That's why I don't even get into gym exercise until fourth week. Now, I've got fitness girls. I've got a few doctors in the program that are in good shape. They just want to drop their body fat. So they still train, but now they incorporate things. In fact, if you go to Lean Body Academy, you'll see Dr. Amanda, who's there. Uh, she's dropped 20 pounds, and she dropped almost 5% body fat. And she was already pretty fit before she started. Do you like meal prepping? You have to. If you're gonna if you're gonna do this with a family, you have to prep. Thanks, Amy. And I hope you guys like the new members area. I hope everyone's happy. You guys are giving me emails. There's some typos, a few things. I'm fixing them up. So, but I hope you guys are happy. I seem to feel more clean cleaning than when I'm going to the gym. I seem to feel more cleaning. I'm not following that. Sorry. <clears throat> Mm. Yeah, I, I train at my house sometimes. My daughter's here playing or doing her homework, and, and I have a chin-up bar, and I, and I do some stretching, and I read, and Snapchat, no, Benny B. Can I? I, I don't, unfortunately, uh, I don't rec You can do anything on the if you get a lean body program. I just don't recommend high trauma exercises, and unfortunately, uh, running falls in that category. Curious for tomorrow, what is your meal prep from start to finish? Uh, I may borrow a dozen eggs. I don't know why that's relevant to, to, to do that. You're just going to get blocked. And you don't even seem to care that there's children, you know, young people on the scope. Uh, unbelievable. Do you recommend eating? Yeah, yeah, that's important. Three to four hours. You know, that you get into rhythm. Can I acquire the lean body mass with a limited income? Yeah. You know, if you stay in the program, it's 37 bucks. I would say if you go through the 12 weeks, you stay in the program three months, you'll own it. You can stay longer. And I've got people, oh, thanks, Link Cap, for inviting your followers. I've got people who've been in the program, I think Amy's been at seven months, but she's also lost 90 some odd pounds and we've got about another 60 to go, 70 to go. Dozen eggs, I'll steam some broccoli, put it in some, some bins, I'll have enough for three or four days. Refined sugar should be banned. No question about that, refined sugar business. I don't have white sugar in the house, haven't had it in years. And you guys, before we you go any further, I'm no saint. I had, I think it's my 50th birthday party, uh, friends brought over food. They brought over a tiramisu cake. When they left, I ate the whole cake that night. 6,000 calories within two hours. So I just don't have it in the house. Eating six eggs at a time, it depends how big you are. The research is pretty good, though. They did a study where they gave um, a group two eggs a day for, I think it was eight weeks, and they tested their cholesterols, and they found an elevated HDH of about 10%. Sorry to hear that. That's unfortunate. I eat 20 meatballs in 30 minutes. Try 25. Brown sugar is just white sugar with burnt molasses. Bet you didn't know that. Pretty sad, huh? Well, be careful with raw vegetables. Things like broccoli and cauliflower, they'll give you bloating gas because we don't have the enzyme to digest the cell wall and vegetables. 
Yeah, I would add, I would add a few yolks because the enzymes are in the yolks. <clears throat> Bad cholesterol if it's good. So HDL, LDL, and triglycerides. Oh, you're so welcome. So the ratios are important. I do half egg whites, one egg for breakfast with turkey bacon. Uh, fine. That's a good, good, crack that egg, by the way. Yeah, the enzymes are in the yolk. If you have a dozen, maybe add three or four yo yolks in there. Oh, hey. Stevia. The best one right now is a sweet leaf. A lot of the other ones are bastardized with other products in them. What's the difference between fat and weight loss? P good question. Okay. I'd like to do quizzes on my scopes. You guys are going to participate. If I'm going to give my time and help you, you got to have to participate. Deal? How much, wa how much water does our muscles hold? And just guess, even if you don't know. Depends where the weight's coming from, young lady. How much water do we have in our, you call it just blood? How much is in there? Give me a percentage. How much do you guys think? 50, 90, 35, okay, 5, okay, 20, 70. Good, good, good. Depending on what book you reference, the number comes between 70 and 75% water is in our cardiovascular system. And that includes water from our brain, our organs, just general soft tissue. Now, here's the next question. How much water is in body fat, whether it's uh, visceral fat or fat that we can you know, grab with our hands? How much water is in that? You're thinking 90%, you're thinking 10%, 95%, 90%. Okay, kind of all over the place. 3%, okay, 3 5%. So it's be fat water amounts are between 3 and 5%. So fat is considered metabolically inactive tissue. So for every extra pound of fat you have over a certain body fat percentage, you have to build about 3 to 7 miles of blood vessels to deal with it. So it's a huge, being having high body fat does tons of things negative to our bodies, but it puts a huge load on our cardiovascular system. Yeah, it's the weight, but it's also all those extra blood vessels that do nothing but deal with the metabolically inactive tissue. Now, hold on uh, about my program. Hold on a second. I want you, I'm get, this is how my program is conducted. I want you to think. Now, if you drop weight really quickly, and we know that blood is about, and the organs are about 70, 75% water, and fat is only about 5% water, where do you think that fat weight loss comes that fast weight loss comes from? Where do you think it comes from? Hold on. That's right. Muscle, organs, brain. That's right. So what's the what tissue are we trying to get rid of? When we try to train up and do all these things, what are we trying to get rid of? Think of it. That's right. We're trying to get rid of fat. Crack that egg. I want to see a picture in there. That's right. So if someone says to me, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds in two days, it's going to be mostly from water. That's right. Well, it come, the water comes out of the muscle. It, will, it, it, it has to come out of places that can get it right away. You have to have a certain set of dynamics set up in order for your body to burn fat for fuel. Does anybody know the three dynamics of burning fat for fuel? What are the three dynamics? Guess if you don't know. I want you guys to participate. You, you, you learn the material that I'm giving you here and you learn until Lean Body Academy. No one will ever snow you on weight loss again. You'll determine how lean you can be. I've been down to 5% before. Oxygen, water, that's good. You got the two. What's the third one? Exercise, it comes to fat loss, is rather irrelevant besides this point. Protein, afterwards. So, she ha so you guys got water and you got oxygen. What's the third one? Hey, Bumblebee, thanks for inviting your followers. Heat? Uh, no. No, but I understand where you're headed. Water, oxygen, and fat. Mainly a fat called a medium chain triglyceride. Again, all this can be looked up. So here's what your body does. When you're glycemic, and this is intermittent fasting, paleo, this is what they're all trying to accomplish. They're all trying to bring your blood glucose low enough where your body begins to express certain hormones that heal us, like human growth hormone and other hormones. Now, 
When that happens, no, not calorie deficit. That's too vague. That's too vague. Hey, Jason. What needs to happen is once that, sh and you can have lower blood sugar without reducing your thinking about calories. Remember, calories are totally ar arbitrary. Uh, you, you're thinking a little bit on the right lines, but too deep. Let me try to explain. So when you do certain things that I talk about and train you guys on, hey, Barbara, thanks for inviting me inside the academy, you'll know to drop your, you'll know how to drop your sugar low enough without doing crazy extreme fasting for 10 hours and all this business to begin to get that insulin expression reduced so you get the hormones released. Thanks, you guys, for inviting your followers. I really appreciate it. Now, in order to burn fat for a fuel, once that, once that insulin expression and that sugar level drops, and everyone's a little bit different, mine is about, if I can get to about 68, 65, then I go into what's called, I change my metabolic pathways into burning from sugar to fat. And it's a huge difference. If you say you're addicted to junk food, then you are. I'm not going to talk you out of it. Your words are your world. So the whole idea is, in my program, you're in ketosis maybe two or three hours a night. Eating more vegetables, it's fine, but it's too arbitrary. Remember, once you understand the basic science of it, you can apply it anywhere you go. You don't need any special gadgets and gasmos. Here's your measuring and that's what my that's what my academy is all about. That's why it's an academy. It's not a it's not it, it's teaching you guys fasting state. You don't not necessarily not in the way that you think. Reduce blood sugar levels to reach ketosis to burn fat. If you have the three elements there, you have to have water, medium chain fat, and oxygen. <clears throat> I took notes when you said it. Thank you. No, you, you're good. But you know I've been doing this stuff for twenty years, and and, I, and I've you know, read Dr. Adkins stuff. I, I read Dirk Pearson stuff. I, you know, I made my mistakes. I got down to 5%. I did, you know, five carbs a day, four days in a row. I did that stuff before there was coconut or any MCTs out there. So I, I went through the, I went through hell, <laughs> literally. How do you get medium chain coconut? No, you coconut naturally has medium chains in it. It's about 75% medium chains, regular sorts. Hey, thanks for inviting your followers, guys. Deaf Beauty, thank you. Thank you so much. And for those of you new, I'm Dr. George Cosmese. I'm a simple doctor of chiropractic. I've been doing functional medicine since 1995. I almost lost my life in a car accident at 19. Changed my life. Uh, my uncle was an orthopedic surgeon. He said, you need disc fusion surgery. My dad said, go see a bone setter who was a doctor of chiropractic. That saved me. I got to the point where I lost my bowel and bladder function. Uh, going to my high school prom, it depends diaper. So I know what it's like to struggle. And then three years in the, in, in the practice, you know, I lost my father to side effects of congestive heart failure. But his lab work, and this is important, was normal the last 10 years of his life, but it was controlled by medication. And what I found was just because your lab, your numbers are normal synthetically doesn't mean you're healthy. And now I teach doctors here in the state of California. And soon nationally, as soon as we get my online program up and running, uh, their continuing education hours, I teach 12 hours a month. And I don't treat diabetes. I support the person that has it. That's why the state board authorized me to teach. They took a look at my book and they asked me to teach. So that's what I do. So water increases oxygen to buy. No, it doesn't increase. Um, through, no, it, it, you're, you're thinking around the right planes, but it's not organized right. So all I'm saying is those three components are necessary components for uh, fat metabolism with some other caveats. You guys, can you take a screenshot of this book and can you tweet it out for me, please? You hit the side button and the bottom button. If you get 12 reviews on Amazon, they f feature your book. And I want to get this in the book of every hand of someone who wants help. There's meal plans in here. There's, you know, recipes that your father and your uncle could eat. Lamb and pork and all this kind of stuff. Just because your numbers are normal doesn't mean you're healthy. That's absolutely correct. And just because you're muscular doesn't mean you're healthy. Google... Um, you know, 2015 uh, athletes that have, that have passed away, and you'll see some ones that are in fantastic shape in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. No, no, repeat your comment. You guys have to understand, for you, for you people that, that, you know, new to scope, I get like eight at once. Yeah, the website is leanbodyacademy.com. No, I saw your book. Thank you for the review, Donna. That was very nice of you. Thank you so much. About my lever, excellent, no fat, no to lose, but one to. Well, what's your body fat percentage? 
We all have some. You have to have at least, women, you guys have to have at least 12% or you'll lose your cycles. And men, uh, I think you can walk around comfortably at nine. At least that's what I'm attempting to do. All the research is favor favorable. But I've hit a plateau at about 13 and a half, but I'm gonna it'll get past it. What do you think about pea powder protein? Whenever you're dealing with whey, whey protein, and again, look this stuff up online, it has a lower biological value than isolated whey. And grass-fed whey is yummy. I'm 6'5 and 195. Okay, what's your lean body mass? That doesn't tell me anything. It's a vegan YouTuber says losing his cycle is actually great. Um, yeah. A woman's cycle is pretty indicative of her overall health. I mean, some athletes do it intermittently, but you know, they get it back, but I don't, I wouldn't recommend it. My wife had intermittent cycles the first two years I was with her because she had liver problems. Sure, I'll shut up. You'll, you'll never hear me again. How's that? Have you ever had to buy a hooker in, the, in Everglades? See, these are just troll, mindless stuff, and it's just funny to me. No, you don't really get into this high fat. It's not about high or low. It's, it, it's kind of like the, okay, let me ask you guys this. Hey, Tim. Let me ask you guys this. Did you ever work on a project and all of a sudden you had an, had an epiphany like, oh, I get it now. Did you ever have that idea that you're working on something and you're frustrated, but something happens and you just get something that you had never gotten before and it, it opens up a whole new door? For, that's what my program is designed to do. Ask Amy. Ask, uh, there's several people on my academy that are on here. The first three or four days, they were throwing a lot of questions up, which is fine, but then they got it. How do you... Keep the motivation going. I always feel like I'm going. I'm too far gone. You're only too far gone if someone's at your wake. That's when you're too far gone. A1C is six. What if I told you I have patients with A1Cs over 21 and blood sugar over 800? My highest was 817. <clears throat> so that's you know a little over six. It's nothing. Um, I think they was talking about menstrual cycle. Real important for women to have that. Hey. Uh, Thanks, Gita, for mentioning me on, on Twitter. Thank you so much. No, don't believe me. Just go online and look up something called biological value. It's the, it's the quality that the government gives protein based on mother's milk. Yeah, sugar, white sugar, it's not even a, we should remove it entirely. But it's a good food preservative. So that's why you see it. it's in restaurants, it's in everything. But biological value, the gold standard is mother's milk. Doctor, have you heard of total life changes? Have I heard of it? I'm doing it every day. Dextrose is, is table sugar. It's the white stuff. So it's also known as sucrose. So isolate whey and not concentrate. Because the isolate has the highest biological value. And again, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be mother's milk, whey, whey isolate, and then concentrate, and then the other ones will go below it. Doctor, is it me? I am upped up in any diet. Um, you know... I'm not talking about treating it, but I've seen patients get better, clean up their diet, getting adjusted. Maybe acupuncture will help you. Hey, there's my wife, Christy. Hey, Christy. <clears throat> hold on. I I'm going to get some more tea. Hold, hold on one second. Hold on. I'm using your cup, by the way. Yeah, that's my wife there, Christy. Fabulous artist, really nice person. I, I think it's hibiscus, something we have in the cupboard. Yeah, that's Kathy. She's, a, she's new in the program, two weeks, and she's already doing phenomenal. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of all my people in the academy. You guys are all learning at different rates, and, and I'm, just, I'm just overwhelmed by uh, these last couple weeks, how many people have come into the program and... and uh, and know how I, how I always struggle to put it together. Using her cup, you sneaky snake. Well, it's so sweet. Look, look how sweet this is. Look how sweet that is. Huh? Pretty teacup, huh? Why do they have dextrose and IV solutions at hospitals? For energy. You know, in, in life-saving situations, I mean, it's a, you know, it, it could save a life, but to have it on a daily basis, not a good idea. Yeah, it is a nice cup, huh? 
My wife's good friend got it for her. Your daughter is excited to see you. Call me when you are done, please. Okay. I haven't seen my daughter in like three weeks, so she's coming home with me. My wife's staying in Hawaii for another couple of weeks. I miss her. I just signed, I just signed last night. Signed up last night? But there are men. I'm not following. Okay. Rice protein is grass-fed whey. Oh, it's from a biological value standpoint, Jason, it's not even close. Uh, you know, this is important, guys. I don't say any of this stuff happily. It's just what the research is. My personal opinion means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have no stance. I'm not for or against anything. I'm for what's going to work the most effective way, taking everything into account. How easy is it to do? How? Thanks, uh, Christy, for sharing. How, um, how cost-effective it is, and what can you actually do day in and day out? I have no idea, but liposin is. Biological standpoint. So the biological value, just Google it, is the, the government gives proteins a biological value rating based off of mother's milk. And let's say mother's milk is 100. Isolated whey is like 97, 98. And then concentrate is like 91, 92. You, you'll see it. There's all kind of charts there. In fact, there's one, there's a couple of them in the program. Yeah, whey isolate. That's it. And I wish pea protein had a high, higher biological value. I'd be taking it and be recommending it, but it doesn't. Should we blow up to moon to cut your cravings? Should we blow up to moon? No, if you have your cravings, the first thing I would look at is your protein intake. Protein will balance blood sugar. Some research says up to six hours. So protein is an excellent blood sugar modulator. Do you think Costco has a decent brand of whey? I, oh, oh, here's the thing with whey. You want to make sure it's sweetened with stevia. S-T-E-V-I-A. He recommends the Lean Body Academy. I have juvenile. Yeah, Amy has. Amy, has your epilepsy gotten better in the last few months since following the program? Or worse? That's okay. Then, then do pee. Do something else. It's okay. Yeah, leanbodyacademy.com. Why do you think about mycoplasm bacteria causing rheumatoid arthritis? Well, the gut is where the immune system lives. And rheumatoid, here's what we have to understand about rheumatoid arthritis. The same tissue that lines the gut is the same tissue that lines all the joints. So if we have problems in our gut, we're going to have problems in our non-weight-bearing joints. So think of your knees and your hips as, as weight-bearing joints, more osteoarthritis-related. Non-weight-bearing joints like the hands, the wrists, the elbows, more rheumatoid. Now to check me out, I'm a health wealth coach. C Knight. Okay. Are probably not a lot of stevia sweetened types. Yeah, the now one is N O W. I will I don't have it on the leanbodyacademy.com page, but I have it on my personal my my personal office site, georgecosmes.com, all the products that I take and that I recommend. So now is uh is one of the it's a good one. It's not the best, best, but it's also reasonably priced. Oh, I'm so, I'm so well. Yeah, that's where you, close, Amy. D E S, but that's okay. You're only off by one letter. Is there a website with a list of protein powders and their biological? Just Google it. Google biological value and go to images, and you'll see all kind of charts. And get just one that says USDA ranking. That way, at least you know it's somewhat official. Could write a book on the docs and do's and don'ts. Yeah, see? And Kathy, are you you should be getting a little bit better with your movements and everything. I'm telling you, the Lean Body Academy, it's designed to improve health and then fat, fat falls away because you're not supporting metabolically inactive tissue. Severe psoriasis. Yeah, if I, if I was practicing Chinese medicine, I would say it's an internal heat problem and it's expressing itself on the skin. The Chinese would call it an internal hot wind issue. So getting back to the basics of the body, how to help someone with rheumatoid arthritis, I would take away as many processed foods as you're comfortable with and do it consistently. And what, what, I, what I mean by that is don't clean up everything over the weekend and then Monday you start adding stuff back. You have to do, you know, do maybe do white flour and then for a week, then, then tackle the other one, then tackle the other one and you should get progressive improvement. You know, we all have enthusiasms, but if they peter out in a couple of days, it's going to demoralize you emotionally. Well, yeah, processed foods, it's a good place. You know, it depends on where you're at. Some people live out of, uh, you know, fast food and uh, pizza. 
So it just depends on where the person is at. That's why I don't even get into juicing or any of these things because like, uh, for example, Kathy, she's doing phenomenal being in the program a couple weeks because I'm taking her by the hand step by step, just like everyone in the program. You all go at your own pace. No, I, no. They'd say an internal win. I think for psoriasis, you need to clean up the gut. There's something going on digestively that's causing you to be internally hot. Again, I don't know who you are. I'm not trying to diagnose you. That's just um, one p p potential assumption, but I'm open to a whole bunch. Yeah, you can go at any pace that you like. It's, it's all your choice. Just understand the information that in the Lean Body Academy is accurate. Medically, physiologically, and functionally. Something that you can actually do with a, you know, I've got a five-year-old daughter. Hey, if I can get my body fat to down to 9%, I'm going to be a stay, I'm going to be a, a single dad for like two and a half weeks with my daughter. Why, why would I have you guys do such extreme thing? And that's what kind of makes me laugh. You see these programs and they're exercising two hours a day and they're eating out of containers and everything is, that's not sustainable for them, for most people. Thank you so much. Low back pain. See a good doctor of chiropractic. You know, at my office, we're real, uh, real fortunate. You know, uh, good, good life medical center. We have PAs, we have MD, we have physical therapists. And we all have questions. We, we ask each other, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think would be the best way? Uh, it's just wonderful. Undenatured. Un, uh, okay, here's a question. What does undenatured mean? What, what if you can't eat it? So if you can't eat it, then don't. No, no question. But in and of itself, it's not going to be enough to toe the line. Oh, thanks, Amy. Well, it's just been heated. When it says undenatured, it means it's not been heated or altered. Yeah, but see, you're, 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 I know what you're saying, but the average person, you might as well be talking about uh, aftershave. It just means undenatured means it hasn't been heated. Just keep it simple. On your suggested food list, oh, there's so many. In the Lean Body program, you get monthly meal plans, you get grocery lists, I mean, everything. And... The key with the Lean Body Academy is you learn what to do and what not to do. So there's no restrictions. You know, hey, if I do that, it's not going to be the result that I'm looking for. But if I do this, 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 oh, I'm going to get the result. Simple. In most cases, not heating a protein is better. There's only one example. Okay, here's another, here's another quiz. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the shares. It means a lot. I'm going to be checking after the scope. Who gave me the most? The three top people who, who are most engaged on my scopes, I'm going to do something for you. I don't know what, I'm going to do something for you. Amy, you're already in. Uh, you're always in the top of my scopes. Lean Body Academy members, <laughs> you guys know this stuff. <clears throat> Here's the things that you'll learn. What's, the, what's the, one of the only proteins, and Amy, don't answer it again. You're too smart already. What's the only protein that benefits from heat? One of the only ones that benefits from being heated actually improves in value by 50%. That's exactly right. Eggs. Lean Body Program is at leanbodyacademy.com. All one word. I periscope again uh, probably tomorrow night, but I'm with my daughter probably between 8 and 9 o'clock. And there's hard research on eggs that actually help raise HDL. So, again, I don't come to these conclusions arbitrarily, guys. The positions that I take have nothing to do with my personal beliefs. I'll change them in a heartbeat if the research supports that. <clears throat> the problem is we get a lot of good marketing, but when you really look at the products or the methods, they, don't, they physiologically aren't accurate. And that's the problem that I have. Yeah, everything. Um, the only problem is, Amy, the 12-week the, uh, program is not downloadable. Because what people will do is they'll come in for a few days and just download everything. But what is downloadable is everything in the bonus material. There's a lot of stuff that I was looking at. I think there's 14, 15 items. You can download all that for free. If I'm not for you, you don't, you don't like me or you don't like the program, please you know, keep it for, as a gift from me. But everything else is accessible. You get full program access. You get access to everything. And I think it's pretty, it's a pretty cool platform. You can take notes in each lesson. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, eggs are, are good, but she's asking you, Amy. <clears throat> I get all kind of inner conversations on my halfway form. I'm 17. Get with your parents and get on the program, but you have to have your parents get get the program for you. You're not 18 years old yet. 
Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah, it's good stuff. I work hard on that. I work hard on my scopes, guys. I don't just come on here. I research a little bit before I... You eat your emotions. Okay, the first way to resolve that is you recognize it. So that good job. Eggs raw, never. It actually removes biotin from the body. And they're 50% less... Uh, the protein is 50% less digestible. That's right. One of the only proteins that benefits from heat. Th oh, thank you, guys. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the shares. Uh, you guys put me past, I think... 2 million hearts or something like that. So thank you so much. What's that mean? What's what mean? Explain about Meringue. Meringue uh, is chick fila. What is chick fila? You couldn't leave. <laughs> what is chick fila? What is that? No, when you apply heat to the eggs, they actually improve in value. Egg mer Oh, lemon lemon meringue pie. Oh, it's my favorite. Hey, I've, chick. I don't understand what chick fil A is. It, mm, I don't. I don't know if it is or not. Most chickens in fast food places. There's one here called Zaku Chicken. I remember last time I ate it, I got sick to my stomach. Either it was a bad chicken or just it was so processed, my body just didn't deal with it. So I don't go. I don't eat too much. Emotional weight loss. Yeah, there's actually um, edification audio, at least one of them in the program, that, that's a training. I did it earlier on the scope that will help you kind of recognize and get past it. Oh, three million hearts. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Well, from you guys and my, my team and the people following me, where are you from? Originally born in Canton, Ohio, raised in Las Vegas. I've been in California and Hawaii off and on for the last 20-something years. Anxiety caused me to eat with emotional eating, and how do I fix it? Great. Well, the first way to fix it is you recognize it. So good job. Second thing is there's a lesson in the academy that you can do that will help you recognize and do something about it. In and out is the McDonald's of – no question. I had a four-by-one probably a year ago. Fast, healthiest way to lose 40 pounds, support your lean body mass. That's the, you know, after 20 something years of doing this, that's what it boils down to. You got to support the muscle that you have. Explain why egg whites get so fluffy. Mm, the denaturing process, when you, when you whip them or heat them, you're, you're exciting the, the molecules in there. That's why if you let it set down, it drops. Bicycle helps. Yeah, bike is good. Yeah, leanbodyacademy.com. I don't, I don't know what the question marks are. Why don't you have a life? Hmm. Well, if you got the letters that I've got, and I don't have them on my desk, but I probably get four or five emails a week about lives that I've lives that my, my scope has changed, and that's what matters. Hey, Donna. And not we're talking about some people that aren't even on my academy that just start using some advice I give them and they see magical things happen. Thank you so much. Plus, my wife and daughter are gone. I'm home by myself. I do research for my for my academy, and I do scopes. I'm doing two things at once. Protein serving is the size of the palm of your hand, right? Yes, but you also need to eat the pro program out for your lean body mass. But you're right on with your hand, though. Oh, thank you so much. Use explanations about egg whites to explain heat benefits. Just heat eggs. That's all you have to do is just heat them. You don't need to explain to the trolls. <laughs> I'm a legend. You think so, huh? It makes me sound so old. Macros are key. What does that mean? <clears throat> what does it mean, macros? Is that opposite of micros? You see, you get caught up in this terminology. We have to know specifics. Raw milk. Oh, I like the taste of it. I like the taste of it. Bye-bye. Mm, see you later. I'm 52 years old. What is a macronutrient? So when you guys put these phrases up, understand, uh, I'm, I'm going to check you on it. You have to know what you're talking about, not just not just spouting out old, stale rhetoric. Someone post the URL. Is it good? It's good stuff. Yeah, it is. Plan on becoming a member. Thank you so much. Raw milk, I love it, but I am married. I, I love it, but um, it's hard to get. It's expensive. It's about $15 a gallon, and I can do without it. I have a friend that, he won't drink anything else. It's phenomenal. Your daughter will be home. Are we going to lose you? <laughs> no, she's pretty good. She might come on my scope, though. Are your products organic? Well, I only recommend five. 
and they're for human growth hormone release and for the brain. I don't really get into recommending vitamin supplements as per se, not that they're bad, but most people, their, their lifestyle is a wreck and we have to kind of get in there first. Thanks, Karen, for, for sending me out on Twitter. You can follow me down here, guys. Follow my scope. When I come on, you'll know, and then you can swipe up and you can share me. You look good to be 52. Thank you. Thank you. My wife and daughter, owe it. I owe it to them to be healthy. That's the way I look at it. Anything that's going to move you beyond vanity, because vanity will not last, guys. Vanity will not last. She's so beautiful. Saw her when you guys were going to go. Oh, thank you so much. What are the five? I'm not following you. Basic of your thyroid not working. Well, your thyroid's working somewhat. It may not be working at its full potential, but it's probably functioning. Uh, the first thing is, you know, start with the basics. Lean Body Academy doesn't treat any disease. It supports the body. And just like um, uh, Kathy she wrote me, wrote an email and actually posted it in the academy. She haven't, hasn't seen her ankles in 37 years. And two weeks on the program, she saw her ankles. I mean, just things I hear just blow my mind. The five products are the Synergy products. I flew up there. Uh, it's the only one that I'm a distributor for. I flew up there, met the company, met Dr. Tripp. Solid, solid company, solid products. And they're on the Lean Body Academy. If you go on the sidebar and scroll, that's the products I recommend. So chlorophyll. Core Greens, Progenine 9 Plus, E9, and E9 Active. That's the five that I recommend. I dropped, being on um, Progenine 9 Plus in 12 weeks, I dropped 5% body fat. And I was blown away. I, after that, I flew up to the company and met the, uh, you know, met the president, met Dr. And look up these people. Dr. Matthew Tripp, T-R-I, T-R-I-P. Is eating organic and easier? If you can afford it, eat everything organic. A lot of people can't. So I give you guys the, the things to eat organic and things that you really can get by on. Or your LDL have changed. Oh, yeah, it'll change. Definitely. When you support... When you support the body that you have, and it's not really being taught out there in the media, wonderful things can happen. But that's with any condition. That's the first place to start. I don't care what your diagnosis. S support yourself. Yeah, Asif, uh, he followed my scopes when I first started. He dropped his cholesterol like 130 some points, and every all his blood parameters came to normal. And he actually recorded his lab work at his doctor's office, and they were like, they couldn't believe it. You lost 6% body fat, so, so here's the question now. How did you determine that you lost 6% body fat? How did you determine that? Go back to cooked foods. Mm, you should have a combination of things. With a scale, and there's one more tool. A young lady says she lost 6% body fat. So remember, I'm, I'm, uh, you're going to have to qualify things with me. How did you find that out? I probably drink it a couple times a day. Hey, Argon, thanks for sharing. Thanks for inviting your followers. No, I mean, it was the young lady. See, people make statements and they need to be qualified. The only way to tell if you lose body fat is either a bioimpedance, a bioimpedance scale, or a hydrostatic weighing, or the calipers, but they're the least accurate. Imagine having no chest. If you're a woman and you lost, you know, you lost your breast tissue, you probably lost way too fast. Welcome back. I work out maybe three, maybe 80, 90 minutes a week. So working out is not the key. The, the tips I'm giving you are key. If exercise fixed everything, the people on my scope that, that tried to bust their butt in the gym for four, six, eight weeks, uh, how many of you pretty much didn't change at all? Put a one up. And I'm not here to, to call you out. I'm here to say there's a smarter way to do it. And, I, and the Lean Body Academy figured it out. Yeah, it's frustrating. I'm here to break that frustration. The China study where they did the fast food study, I, I'm, if that's the one you're talking about, I, I, I'm, I'm uh, familiar with that study. <clears throat> yeah. How do you gain it back? The first thing you do is, I know it's going to sound, so we got to support your lean body mass. I ride my bike 10, 12 hours a week and body stays the same. Yeah, but 
But the key is, and watch this, and in my Lean Body Academy members, I know I call on you a lot when I'm on my scopes, but help me out here. What's your lean body mass protein intake? Throw, throw the two numbers up. If you guys are in the academy, this is what you would be. You would know exactly what your intake should be. See? Amy, Alabama. Kathy, back east. These ladies are smart. That's all you need to know. That's one fundamental. 234, you're not, you're not in the Lean Body Academy. You see? And we're talking about, you know, housewives, basic knowledge. You don't have to be a mathematician to do this stuff. I've done all the hard work for you. Just follow the simple steps. And if someone from Alabama can follow the steps, that the obesity rate in that region of the country is pretty high. Anyone can. That is per day. That's correct. And it's not a lot. An egg is about seven. A chicken breast is about 15 to 25, depending on the size. So it's not a lot. But if you're not eating your main minimum lean body mass and protein, every time you exercise, you're just breaking down more and you're getting your fat, body fat percentage is getting higher and higher. So remember, you bought all my products. I didn't, I didn't know I was selling. Hmm. Only product that, I'm, that I recommend you get because everyone asks me where is it is that Ormon Bowel Penis handheld. It's like 30 bucks. It's on Amazon. It's not my product, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, you have to support that number. That's why. Yeah, there's a fire. But Amy, and you can tell them, once you get it, it's like a whole new world has opened up for you. Thank you. Good, good girl. Thank you. Well, my wife picked it. Of course it's nice. My wife has taste. <laughs> Fortunately, she that was absent when she chose me. <laughs> no, see, that's my self-loathing coming out again, you see? That's another thing. Always accept compliments. And I have a hard time with that. But I stopped that. That's exactly correct. See? Now, there was a time when I would say that to Amy and she would get, she would get upset at me. But now she gets it. You see? And you guys will come in the academy. You'll get it too. Yeah? Yeah. Humbleness is a chore. Not sure I, not, not sure I get that concept. Yeah, Amy is going through a little bit of a rough time. The Academy is the Lean Body Academy. So go to leanbodyacademy.com. The first thing I want you to do is don't join right away. There's a video there. Watch that video. It's just click on the middle thing where it says join now for seven days. And there'll be about an eight-minute video that will play. And it'll make even more sense. It talks about why exercise for a lot of you people is taking you the opposite direction. And this is what not, it's not talked about. You don't see it in the media. You don't hear words like catabolism and anabolism. I break it all down for you. You, you know, I know my father could have benefited from this, but I lost him at 58 years old when I was just getting into practice, just starting my, my career and I needed some guidance and he just wasn't there. And I got to tell you for the first couple of years, I was really upset with my father. I was angry at him for not taking better care of himself and leaving me like that. Because him and my mother were divorced and I, I pretty much was with my dad most of the time. I don't know. I'm trying to get back into my healthy lifestyle. Don't try. There's only do. There's no try. Just do it. I want to eat healthy and feel better for myself. I just listen to you every night. Okay. So, I, But understand this. I want you to act. Pick, pick one thing and act on it that you know. You've researched what I said and you say, okay, I'm going to do this and do it consistently and then add another one. Then you add another one. Thank you, but I, I'm not, you know, when I bring these things up about my, me being less than eight years old and my father passing at 56, I, please, I'm not asking for sympathy. That's not my reason for bringing it up. My reason is that there's struggles out there and people having the same problems as you guys, but that doesn't mean you beat yourself up and you destroy your health and then you become an anchor for your family. That's not right. Don't tell me, show me. That's right. So, you know, I'm banged up in football, I'm banged up in this, and the only way that I can function properly and be a good father and a good husband is to take care of myself for my wife and my daughter. So you guys need to hold on to something bigger than yourselves, and it'll become easy. The Lean Body Academy has done all the work for you.
you know, give it three months. It's not even a hundred bucks. You'll learn that's, you know, that that's taking me half a million dollars of education to get, get that hundred bucks, uh, three months program with you. Yeah. Snowboarding. I don't know how you guys stay locked in like that. I have to have regular skis, joint pain, stay away from, uh, traumatic exercise and try, uh, drinking enough water for your lean body mass. Do that first. And within a couple of days, you, if you're really dehydrated on the light side, you might feel a difference. Good. Change your, what happened to me when my best friend, personal trainer, was killed by a drunk driver. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. Would your best friend, personal trainer, want you to destroy your life because they're gone? Leg cramps could be minerals. It could be protein. It could be water. It could be magnesium. It could be so many things. If you're on medications, uh, that could cause it. Depends on the uh, barb. It depends on your lean body mass. Usually, it's associated with your protein intake. The numbers in ounces usually are similar. Yeah. So again, don't get exotic. Get simple things done first. And if you haven't drink, if you're not a water drinker, maybe start with a couple ounces a day. But be consistent. Your body will crave more. My homemade salad dressing. What can we just set up? Oh, canola is garbage. Use olive. Olive is fine for cold applications. Hey, Cynthia Joy, thanks for joining. Yeah, and again, the first thing to do is you recognize. Once you recognize, then you can, yeah, lemon juice is excellent. What whey protein? A whey isolate is the one that I take. It's got the highest biological value. The only one higher than that is mother's milk. And I would feel really weird taking that. Although some people do, interestingly enough. I'm sorry, pain sucks. And that's not a medical term, that's just a reality. Um, tr tr you know, try, try some minerals, try even, even whey, maybe it's a protein problem. Try, try the basic, you know, if you have the time, try basic things first and work, ratchet yourself up the scale. My next MUA, I think it's, I think they're holding the next class th later this month or early, uh, early May. Water removes toxins. Mm. I would say water hydrates the body and cause and supports cellular respiration. The cellular respiration is what moves waste out. If you want to call that detoxing, uh, I'll kind of agree to that. But I think toxin and all this stuff, it's thrown around. Yeah, it's a doctor's training class. So I'm, I'm, I'm licensed to, 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 to practice that, but I'm also going to be a patient so the doctors can practice on me. Why sometimes I get sharp pains very seldom where my heart chest is. Don't know. Remember, the heart's a muscle. Got to support your lean muscle mass. You got to start there. Yeah, I get treatment. I, 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 I teach a little bit, and then, I, then I, I, I'm the test subject because I need the work. Should I do these detox over-the-counter products? I wouldn't. I'm going to keep saying this. And Amy and my other program members, how important has supporting your lean body mass been to you getting your improvements. It's not everything, but how important has it been? I teach continuing education hours, usually usually at a hotel in Los Angeles or uh, and online as soon as they get it set up. I'll be teaching nationally. It's very important. It's so important. When I was in school, it was called the building blocks of life. How do you do it? You figure out your lean body mass and that's all in the academy. There's a, there's a particular calculation for the protein in the water and the other other things that you have met along the way. It's a step program. It's 12 weeks. Yeah, see, all people saying very important, they're members of the program. <clears throat> you guys ask good, good questions on my scope. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up my scope. So I'm going to have this emotional eating and weight gain, three keys to know this PDF. I'm going to put it in the members uh, bonus material. And you guys have come in for seven days. If you don't like the program, you don't want to spend $37, that's fine. Please download the material. It's yours to keep as a gift from me. If you want to stay in the program, I do a coaching call every Monday morning at 9 a.m. If you can't make the call, it'll be recorded in your members area. There's about 24 calls in there now. So all total is probably, you know, a couple of hundred hours of material in there. Some of it's audio, some of it's video. 
There's about 10%, 20% that are PDFs, short ones, easy to read. I'm not here to impress you guys uh, with long uh, words. I'm here to give you information that you can use. Farming is great. Thanks, sir. I look forward to your scopes each time I can make them excellent. And you can always watch my replays on catch.me. I ask it, you leave me hearts and you, uh, you know, get, let me know that you're there. I think it's an end of, end of the month, Amy. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I want to thank you for joining my scopes at leanbodyacademy.com. Pop in at the very least, watch the video. It's about eight minutes and I break it down for you. It's me doing something called a screen flow. I go through some slides and I'm talking in the, in the lower right hand corner. It will help you to kind of get it. I know to some of you, when I talk about lean body mass, I might as well be talking to the moon. But I'm telling you, everybody, every member of the program, they, they know how important it is. Okay? So, thank you. Please do. I'm Dr. George Cosmes. Thanks for taking, uh, taking the time to call my scope. I hope I helped you. Please use the information that I give you, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.